it was such a blessing. I was just totally um, just blown away by it. It was incredible. Well, this was very exciting. I'm kind of overwhelmed with the media and things like that, but um, it's very exciting to know that in some small way, my, uh, someone's life was saved. Today was incredible. I mean, what an incredible opportunity to sit with a variety of people of different colors, different shapes, different sizes, and know that we had all contributed to one line. We don't, I don't really think about who's receiving the blood when I give donations, but being able to put a name and a face with a donation that I gave really does inspire me to continue giving. I'm, I've given a long time, but it never occurred to me that my blood would be used by someone. It just goes on a truck or something like that. So it was kind of very moving. What I remember about my accident was turning onto an ordinary street in Atlanta and hitting a utility pole, being the passenger. There were no outside obvious signs of injury. Everything was internal. It was late at night when I was brought into Grady Hospital and the incredible surgeon, Dr. Jeff Nicholas, was the incredible trauma surgeon that worked on me. So I think he operated on me three times um, in the first 24 hours. Um, I died on the table twice and I remember him telling the media that she has a one in ten chance of survival, but I had enough blood. I had to get over 100 units of blood, and if it weren't for that blood, he wouldn't have been able to give me life after life after life-saving surgery. Yeah, I would undergo 41 different surgeries um, during my time there, and then after that, um, the rehabilitation. Wow, so today I am very excited to meet several of my donors who uh, donated blood during the time when I was in my car accident. I owe my life to them and I can't wait to hug them and thank them for, for giving me another chance at life. Hi guys, I'm Nikki. Hi Nikki. Hi. 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 I am was just blown away. I couldn't believe that we were able to get 13 of the donors here to, gosh, just to say thank you to them, to hug them and just see who, whose blood that I had inside me. It came full circle today, just being here in Atlanta, giving blood downstairs. My mom is giving blood as we speak. It doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't really hurt and it's helping someone, it's helping to save a life. And it only takes about an hour every 56 days. It's the easiest thing to do is to give blood. If we're gonna volunteer to work at a school or work at a church, why can't you just volunteer to give life? Because that's, there's nothing any more precious than giving life.